So the way the system currently works, if a student applies for a student loan from the federal government, their payments are handled by a student loan servicer, which is a private company. Right. Um, and as you noted in your column, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, um, the watchdog agency that was created as part of the Dodd-Frank bill. By our own state senator, by our own U.S. Senator, senator Elizabeth Warren. Warren. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, uh, right as the Obama administration was ending, they filed this lawsuit against one of these servicers. Um, the so, Navient suit. Yes, that's right. So tell me a little bit about uh, these abuses that you mentioned in your piece. Um, if you know if that's going on in Massachusetts, uh, why that's important to address. Yeah. So yes, it is going on in Massachusetts. We get called regularly from constituents here in Western Mass um, who get things like predatory calls. You know, sometimes they'll call in the middle of the night. Uh, sometimes they'll bury all the rights that the student has in very fine print legalese that's completely inaccessible uh, and really uh, impossible for someone to understand without hiring an attorney to unpack it all for them. Uh, there are cases of some servicers not allowing students to, for example, hire outside lawyers to help them navigate it. They have to do it on their own, which when you think about it, it's totally unfair uh, because the, the companies and the servicers have armies of experts and attorneys helping them. The students often have nothing, and sometimes these agreements themselves say that they can't go out um, and get help from an outside person. Our bill uh, fixes that. There's things like not being forthright about interest rates and how the interest rates will float. Uh, they often will require payments up front and much sooner than the actual terms dictate. So there's a whole host of, um, of things that the servicers do. Some of them are outright illegal already, and there are cases of them being prosecuted. Our Attorney General in Massachusetts, luckily, Moore Healy, very aggressive on this. Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, very aggressive. I should, we should note the Trump administration is trying to roll back a lot of those protections. But a lot of these issues, and the reason why we create the ombudsman is because they're, very, they're in the gray area of the law. 